Hi folks, it's your old buddy Chris from Cool Gold Tools and today I'm going to show you something brand spanking new. For a long time now we've been looking to make a much better Miller table than those Miller tables that are out there on the market. And we tried and tried and the only thing that we could really come up with was something that was a lot smaller that would give you the same kind of performance if not better performance than most of the units that are available today. This is our mini Miller table. It comes complete in a box and the box is only about 9 inches wide and about 14 inches deep and a little, le little over 3 inches tall. It's a complete gold classifying concentrator Miller table gold pan it gives you all the tools that you need so whenever you get that gold pay dirt and you get that gold fever over the winter time and you want to go through some of your concentrates it gives you something that's small compact can be stored in an RV uh, a camper a trailer it can be stored just about anywhere hardly takes up any room at all but as you're going to see through this lengthy video it does a really really good job of separating the material from the the gold and from the um, gemstones that you happen to bring now you're going to see some gemstones in some of this material that i have here this is uh taken from one of the bags that's included so when you do purchase our mini miller table uh, you get a bag of uh, gold pay dirt concentrates and there may be some small gemstones in them but it is salted with gold so it's guaranteed that you are going to get some gold. Now along with this unit will come a couple of the glass vials as you see there. Uh, also uh, you're going to get an 8 inch finish gold pan. Now what makes our Miller table different than the other companies out there? Our Miller table actually dumps into our mini gold pan. So there's no worry or no fear of losing anything because everything that you have is just going to drain off straight down into the dual riffle 8 inch gold pan that's located down below. Now you can also use that gold pan. I know that some people that have tested this unit for us have asked about being able to use the gold pan uh, outside when they are prospecting and yes they can. Uh, for a limited number of first-time users, we're also going to include our cup, which is not pictured here in the video. But we have a very special uh, digging cup that we use. It's a pre-rinse cup that actually helps you clean the material first before you put it on the miller table. We found out that if you clean most of the clay and dirt and vegetation out of the material before you actually run it, it actually does a much cleaner and a much better job. So that's what we've done. We've went ahead and cleaned our concentrates in the pan. And the other thing that we do, we don't give you a brush to use. We found that that just that brush just got in the way. What we do to clean our gold is that we use up. Look, there's there's some gold right there. What we use is our snuffer bottle. We fill our snuffer bottle up with water, and we can use that to gently. Uh, blow away any of the material that's there uh, but with a squeeze and when we let it go to create the the backflow uh, suction we can suck those pieces of gold that we find right up as you're going to see this is a multiple step process you could pan the gold first with the mini 8, eight inch gold pan put it in a container run it on our water table here uh, then once you run it up and once you suck up most of the material in your snuffer bottle uh, You can rerun that we're going to show you that at the end of this video how we reran everything and that really cleans all the magnetite and the uh, and, and the bits of sand and, and everything really cleans it out of Your uh, gold pan, but look at that. That is some of the gold that's salted into our concentrated gold bags so uh, we're going to go ahead and, and suck that up, get rid of that, grab another scoop here, uh, throw it in and see what else. Oh, look, there's some gold right there. For some, uh, the, the way that this water table is designed and built, the gold really sticks. No matter the size, whether it's big or tiny, doesn't matter. It really sticks to uh, the tray itself. 
as you can see when you go through uh, makes a nice afternoon of fun going through and actually getting some uh, gold out of your concentrates uh, or if you happen to uh, buy or purchase some uh, gold pay dirt online and you want to run it this makes a, a really really nice gift and it's really fun but as you can see it really does a great job of clearing uh, of clearing the material out and leaving you nothing but gold in the uh, in the tray to pick up look at that piece is too big <laughs> it's too big for me so I'm gonna have to see if I can get this in the snuffer here and oh, there we go right away boom it's in it's ready to go so you get some nice little flakes and uh, little pickers in some of the gold pay dirt that uh, that we have once again uh, we can't give you a guarantee when you purchase the, how much gold is going to be in there but I know that there is gold in there there's just some of the little little gemstones that were in included in the uh, in the item as well I'll put another scoop down here see what we got see if we got anything interesting uh, in the scoop now to show you how well this holds look there's a little piece of gold up there at the look at this right there so little piece of gold what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spread that out and show you just how well this water table will hold and adhere the gold right to it. But look at that. Look, look what look at that uncovered. Look. Now there's two. There was another one that was hidden inside that pile. And on there's both of them. Start, slowly starts to get rid of this stuff. Let's grab this one too. Boop. Oh. Got her. I think I got her. <laughs> We'll find out because if I didn't and it went all the way down to the pan, we'll just get to the pan. There we go. We got some little stuff there. Going. I got it now. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, use the snuffer. Snuffer's great. It works. It works fantastic for um, cleaning some of the material out. Now I go ahead and we're at the very bottom of our of our thing here, so we're just going to pour it right from the container right from the holder here let's see what we got do we have anything in here that is where now as you can see I really didn't uh, pre-classify this down to really really super small um, small stuff I could have but I didn't and there's not a um, a sifter included in the package whenever you purchase uh, this item from us it's just not because part of the fun of uh, there's a nice little little uh, gemstone there looks like a little piece of amethyst um, but uh, when you purchase this from us you're gonna be able to uh, you know pan it out give yourself some some fun put a little bit of rocks put a little bit of gravel in there you never know when you you come across some nice little gemstone and and we include two vials uh, with this package whenever you purchase it from us uh, one for your gold concentrates and the other one for the gemstones that you may find as well too and and we found out that whether you get this for kids or just big folks that are kids at heart whether you get a, a, a pretty little gemstone or a nice piece of gold you like to display it you like to show it off and people are really uh, uh, surprised at, at what you can find and you never know what you can find sometimes in your own backyard so we've worked real hard on making this uh, vibrating mini Miller table work really well. It just it just seems to pull this, uh, you know pull everything away. There's another couple little pieces of gold that were in the very bottom of that container. There we're gonna go to scoop this one. Ah, got it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is and there's there may be some little bit more, but we're gonna be able to find this because remember all this stuff here, a little piece there, all this stuff here is gonna be draining into our our gold pan so we will spray it a little bit separate it a little bit get it going and then later on we are actually going to pan through the uh, pan through these uh, these concentrates uh, with the mini pan now uh, this particular material that, that I have here is fairly clean um, the, the manufacturer that I get it from the place where I buy my my gold concentrates from does run a dredge so it um, it really cleans the material fairly well but most of the stuff that we have is unsearched and I do have him add gold uh, to 
to my purchase so that I have something here and this is just the very as you can see there's not a whole lot of black sand in this particular thing now there's a reason why um, when you have someone who's just new to prospecting or just starting to look there's another couple little piece of gold uh, when you have somebody who's just new to gold prospecting um, fighting through black sand can be a little bit of a downer can be a little bit of a bummer particularly if you have kids that are going to be trying this and trying to get them interested in, in prospecting give them a fun activity they can do in uh, some afternoon if they're fighting through black sand it really makes it hard for them it, it makes it very it takes away a lot of the fun and a lot of the excitement of finding gold so here it is we've we've gone ahead we jumped forward here a little bit we jumped ahead uh, now this is all the material that that I ran through uh, that thing that's that's what came into my uh, my container it's about um, eight ounces it's an eight ounce uh, bag of material that may have a little bit more in it than eight ounces but the bags that we use now only have eight ounces and you're gonna go ahead and pan right in the tray that comes along now that tray everything that you have and everything that you see there the uh, <coughs> the Miller table the pan the stuffer bottles everything fit inside of that container and it has a locking lid that goes on top so that everything is locked and secured so you can go ahead and pan right inside of this uh, plastic container <clears throat> it's heavy duty it's meant to take a beating and I'm panning through this pretty quick so I might have to go through this one more time but I I really don't think so because uh, uh, I'm pretty confident in these uh, in these dual riffle pans. Uh, they do do a great job. Um, I usually just go through it for the heck of it, just to make sure that I did get everything. And sometimes when I have a lot of that, I can really go through it and put it up back on the water table again, uh, run it a couple more times. But you'll see here that. Um, do a little more panning and I know that this is probably the most boring part of this whole video but you know a lot of times people tap their pan you know what I do I actually use the side of this container and you can hear me tapping it against the side of the container and that really with the bigger riffles on the one side that really like pushes the gold over to those riffles that are on the the left hand side that I'm banging and tapping it against thing whenever I get down to a, a small amount level when I uh, get the concentrate style. Then I like to spin on over to the, the, the fine V-shaped riffles that we have there. And I have found out that they do a good job. You can tap as well with those. And the gold will literally walk across those riffles over to, uh, over to that side whenever you're tapping it. It, uh, it works really, really good. And it does a really uh, great job and separating a nice picture of that there as you can see I'm in the laundry room of our home because that is my designated spot in the basement for clearing and cleaning the gold I could set it over at the table but I find out that it's much better if I set it on top of a towel on top of the washing machine it just it just works works better. and anyhow there's a nice big shop light above my head there so I can actually see things a little better. The eyes don't work like they used to. And I'm looking, I really don't see any or very much black sand in here. See, it's it's fairly clean product here. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot, a couple little rocks, maybe. But I don't, uh, yeah, you got a little, little chunk there. Toss that out. Now, I may pan this again, too, to see if there's any gemstones in, um, uh, in the bottom there but everything is right there inside the pan everything is is there it's clean it's done there's nothing in there so now here's what I'm gonna do to finish everything off I'm gonna sink the uh, gold pan back down into the tub I'm gonna get it filled with water and then once that stays submerged or down pretty good I'm going to then go ahead and grab my mini Miller table pop that bad boy in I'm going to center it over top of the pan and then I'm going to go ahead and plug her back in 
and as the water starts flowing I'm going to make sure that there are no dry spots on the table now here comes the fun part here comes the really really fun part Here comes the part that I like the best I'm going to take my snuffer bottle and I'm going to take the lid off and now I'm going to drop on the water table everything that I got in the snuffer bottle so now look at this look just by snuffing up I brought up all those sands and everything else but look it's gonna clean that gold automatically for me now I have used this uh, and tested this water table both with and without uh, jet dry uh, in it to break up the water tension I really haven't seen too much of a difference whether you use jet dry or not I honestly have it on this water table so I don't know if it's because of the design of the water table or how it's built or the different things that we have we have a couple people that uh, that helped us with the design uh, the way that the, the water table is set up in design there is a little bit of vibration with it and that little bit of vibration seems to break up almost any of the surface tension but look at that I was able to pick all that up except for that one little piece it's giving me trouble and get in here okay and we'll look through this do you see anything in there let's uh, spread it out some Nah, I don't see anything in there Nah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back into my gold pan and guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a final a final test to see if uh, if there is anything uh, in that pan to make sure that I got everything so you panned it the first time to get out some of the big stuff and to take down the material then I ran it through the water table then everything that came out through my first run through the water table I panned again and I used my snuffer bottle to pick the stuff up then I ran the water table a, a second time and poured in all of the concentrates I had in my snuffer bottle and then now this is the final pan that I'm going to do to see if there's anything there and no there wasn't anything in there I got all the gold in here here you go here's a picture of some of the, not 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 all of this gold disclaimer here not all of this gold is what I collected through that one bag you're not going to get that much gold but you will get some gold and here is our entire package that you're going to get the mini uh, the mini Miller table thing it measures a little over see right around nine inches wide and about uh, 13 inches long I say 14 give you give you a better estimation there the blue uh, handles that actually come up and they lock the lid into place so there's just no kind of has latching mechanisms on both sides to hold that in place and it's really a nice uh, little uh, solution for uh, finding your gold so I hope you folks enjoyed our video. This was created by CoolGoldTools.com and you can get these and purchase these at Cool Gold Tools, Creekside Mining Supplies, or at your local gold prospecting or local gold club. Hey, you folks have a great day.